Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up a spaghetti squash. We are going to make a sun-dried tomato with mushroom and spaghetti squash dish. Super duper easy, healthy dinner. We've been eating a little bit of crap lately, so hopefully this will make up for it. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to cook up our spaghetti squash, which is easy peasy. Now, for a spaghetti squash, we wanna cook this so we can get some nice long strands out of it. Uh, we used to cut it lengthwise, but we found that by cutting it in the center, we could get some longer strands. So that's what I'm gonna do to start off. Boom. Now this here is kind of heavy. I should have said that before I took it apart. But when you buy a spaghetti squash, you know, you wanna choose one that's heavy for a size. And this is Dinky Doo, but we bought this one actually a couple of weeks ago, and it's still pretty heavy. But I'm gonna go ahead and whack off Boom, the little top there. So later if I want to uh, rest it on its end like that, I can. Now to cook our spaghetti squash, all we have to do is roast it in the oven. So I got a little dish here and I just filled it up with about a half inch of water. And I'm just taking my spaghetti squash and putting them face down. And then I'm gonna slide this in an oven, preheat it to 350 degrees and we'll let it roast away for about 30 to 45 minutes. And while that's going on, I'm gonna get all these other ingredients ready. Got some sun-dried tomatoes here, and I've already been rehydrating them a little bit in some water. This is just some hot water I put them in so they won't be as chewy when I cook them up. A Little bit of onion, garlic, and some nice mushrooms. Yeah! Mm, mm, mm. Sounds delicioso. See you in a little bit. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, this is a low oven. Let me take a look here. And you gotta be careful when you got water in here. And then you really have to be careful when you're flipping these things over because steam can get trapped underneath. And you don't wanna get burned when you flip it. So it's been cooking for about 45 minutes and I actually pulled it out at the half hour mark and tested it and it wasn't ready. But you can see it's ready now. See how easily the fork slides in there? And I'm gonna take this out of the hot water. Boom, boom, boom super duper carefully. See that steam coming off of there? I'm gonna let this cool before I handle it anymore, you know, for insurance purposes. And while these are cooling off, I'm gonna go ahead and start the other part of my dish. So I'll get my burner going right here and I'll put it on medium heat. And I'm just gonna put a little light olive oil in here. Come on over here, camera girl. I'm gonna slice up my ingredients here. The first thing I'm gonna do is some onion and I'm gonna cut it into some nice thin strips. And you can be really flexible on the amount of ingredients you use. I got two medium onions here. So I'll separate these onions a little bit and I'll get them going in my oil. Alrighty. And I'm gonna give my onions a few minutes head start here. Let them soften up. While this is going on, I'll prep the rest of my ingredients. Now the main components are gonna be the spaghetti squash, mushrooms, sun-dried tomato, onion, and garlic. Now these sun-dried tomatoes are already julienne cut. So I'm just gonna leave these as is. And the mushrooms, I'm just gonna cut into some nice thick slices. And I probably got too much mushroom here. No. But they'll cook down quite a little bit. I'm gonna put the garlic in a little bit later in the dish because I want it to have a very strong garlicky flavor. But I'm just gonna cut these into some thin slices. And I've got 10 fresh cloves here. And if you don't like big chunks of garlic like this here, then you can just talk to your therapist and maybe they can help you with your problem. So my onion's been going for a couple of minutes here and I'm not gonna put a lot of seasoning in this dish. I want the natural flavors of these fresh ingredients to be the star. So I'm just gonna be doing some salt and pepper, but I'm just gonna add some salt right now. Now I'm gonna throw my mushrooms in here. Let those get going so they can start to cook out some of their moisture. Let me get these mushrooms mixed up with this oil and salt. I'm gonna throw this lid on here and let these steam away a little bit. Let's see if I can handle my spaghetti squash. It's still kind of hot, but I'm super macho. I'm gonna go ahead and get the seeds out of here. You just kind of root around in there. It's like seeds in a pumpkin. And you just kind of scrape them out. You don't have to scrape too harshly because you just want to get the seeds out. You don't want to waste any more of this squash than you have to. And now I'm just gonna twist my spaghetti strands out. Just take a fork, dig it in the side, and give it a twist. And some nice strands of spaghetti squash will come right out of there. 
And that's the nice thing about cutting it through the center like this here. You get some nice long strands. And they're still kind of crunchy. Can you hear that crunch? Now it's cooked enough, but I didn't overcook it. When you're roasting your spaghetti squash, you want to make sure not overcook it, especially if you're going to be adding it to another dish it's like we're going to do and cooking it just a little bit more. This spaghetti squash has a terrific texture, but it doesn't have an overwhelming flavor all on its own, which makes it a great ingredient for all kinds of recipes. Ooh, just look at those lovely strands. So even though that was a small spaghetti squash, we got quite a little bit out of there. Give this a little stir. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave the lid off of here so that some of this water can cook away. Cause these mushrooms have a lot of water in them. Well, I've cooked those mushrooms down quite a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my sun-dried tomatoes in here. And like I said, I reconstituted these in a little bit of water. So they're not gonna be as chewy. And sun-dried tomatoes add lots of flavor. Now I'm just gonna throw a little more salt and pepper in here. And that's all the seasoning I'm gonna use. And then I got all of this garlic. And I'm adding it very late to the dish because I want it to have a very strong garlic flavor. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my spaghetti squash in here. And let's see if I end up putting all this or not. Let me stir this around and see how that looks. What do you think, camera girl? Is that enough? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's enough. I think I'll reserve the rest of this spaghetti squash. You know, I think this ratio is all right right here. I'm not gonna add in the rest of this spaghetti squash. I'll save this for another dish because I don't wanna overwhelm it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off because the spaghetti squash is already cooked and I don't wanna overcook it and make it mushy. Now I cooked it with a little bit of light olive oil, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some heavy olive oil right here, just a wee little bit. You can really taste the sun-dried tomato. And that olive oil, you know, adding uh, olive oil at the end of the dish, that really makes it rich. So it's a very filling, hearty dish. But there's nothing really too bad in here. We used a little bit of olive oil, but it was good olive oil. Having that little bit of garlic here at the end that's not overcooked, it adds a lot of flavor to this here. So there you have it. Not the prettiest dish at the dance, but it has a lot of personality. You know, it's like me at the prom. If you want to check out the recipe, you can head over to myfoodchannel.com. Check out all our recipes. I'll have a link down below. I'll also have a link to our spaghetti squash playlist if you want to check out some other spaghetti squash dishes. Uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.